So just a few days ago, a company called Clockwork opened up its first pop-up shop in San Francisco, which uses a robot to perfectly paint nails in 10 minutes for just $8. This of course sounds like a dream come true if you're a busy person or an introvert that doesn't like to make small talk in salon. But is it all what it's cracked up to be? Or if you're a nail tech, should you be worried about your job? Let's find that out today. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name's Claudio. I own an aesthetic clinic and on this channel, we explore the science behind skincare and aesthetics. Let me start off by saying that this device is different to what you may have seen in the past. Previous devices were only able to print images onto your nails, some better than others. This is a robot that's actually applying paint to the nails. And although this robot and others like it can paint nails, as of now it cannot buff or shape or provide any other services typically enjoyed by a manicure. So is it really a manicure then? Essentially it's only providing a foolproof way of applying nail polish. And for that reason Clockwork seems to prefer using the name Minicure. So how do these robots work? The technology incorporates hardware such as a robotic arm that paints one nail at a time. Loaded with software that relies on machine learning to distinguish the nail from the skin. Each company uses a different approach, yet essentially they all basically scan thousands of nail shapes and take 3D photos to create a massive database. It then paints your nail according to the images processed and all of this in 10 minutes. With the nail care market set to reach $11.6 billion in 2027, this seems to be sparking a lot of debate whether this will disrupt the nail market. Personally, myself, I don't see it disrupting the market, but definitely see it as adding something and providing an offering inside a gap between the markets. I see this as more of a quick service beauty treatment and not necessarily replacing the artistry, relaxing in salon treatments. Now imagine having these robots inside airports, gyms, offices, running between meetings just quickly bang out a new set of polished nails. So I can see it appealing to two different types of people and basically it will boil down to preference. Either you enjoy the experience or pampering of going into a salon and that getting that human connection and personal connection having your hands massaged. Nail techs can be great listeners and therapists in their own right. You also get the full shebang of treatments, essentially paint, nails, the works, the entire experience. Or you're the type of person that enjoys the sound of a robotic arm moving around and doesn't want to feel pressured or deal with the awkwardness of having to talk to someone or feel obligated to leave a tip. Clockwork states that the average woman spends 3,120 minutes a year doing their nails where they can get you in and out in just 10 minutes. So the speed and convenience sound great, especially if you're saving yourself 40 minutes each time you get the treatment done. But now remember, the robots don't do any prep work itself. And nails can still look bad, even with the paint if no prep work has done prior. Buffing and shaping is all pretty much important parts of actually getting your nails as a final product. Sure, it's cheaper than an in-salon treatment, but it does essentially do a little bit less. It does offer a solution to social distancing, especially during these COVID times, or you could just paint your own nails at home. Before we get to the robots going rogue part, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you wanna see more videos like this. So a lot of people have raised issues where they are concerned what if their finger gets chopped off by the robot. However, this does seem to be slightly exaggerated and the company ensures that they have plenty of safety features built into the robot, including a plastic tipped cartridge that won't pierce the finger. Well, that doesn't sound good. Also, it doesn't connect to the internet, which then won't give access to hackers to hack into the robot and let it go rogue all over your hands. And if you're a nail tech and worried that your job is now soon to become obsolete, I don't think you should worry as the US Bureau of Labor Statistics states that the job outlook for manicurists is growing at 19%, which is well above the average job growth rate. I also believe that you would make a better friend than a robot and your creativity would outshine a robot any day. So depending on the type of person you are, 
You would welcome robots, and heck, you could even possibly alternate between humans and robots just depending how you feel that day. It's insane to see where technology is taking us, and with companies like Clockwork leading the front line, it's exciting nonetheless. I hope you enjoyed this video, and check out my other videos if you want to see how technology plays a role in beauty.